Okay, so weird. So I have, <clears throat> I have the camera on a mount on the windshield and in order for me to do that, the camera has to be upside down. So I was having <laughs> some difficulties. But anyways, we're going to, um, did she already leave? I think she already left. Uh, we're going to, oh, she's right there. <laughs> we're going to drop off my mom's car. Well, my brother's old car, it was my mom's old car. We're gonna drop it off at like, <clears throat> uh, nearby like place where they always put cars for sale so um we're gonna do that and then i have to go return something at home goods and then um we need some body wash so target we have to go to <clears throat> so that's what we're doing just errands today and I have to go pick up groceries from the Walmart grocery store. If you guys don't know or <clears throat> have never done it, it is so awesome. So you order your groceries online. And I've heard of other things that you could do it through too, like Instacart and um, <clears throat> just other stuff, I guess. But I ordered groceries and they should be ready by like one to two. So I, that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go pick those up. And um, Jacob works nights again. So he has a weird schedule where he works like five days on nights. And then he'll have like five days off. And then he'll work like four days during the day. 12 hour days each shift. And then he'll have like four days off. Um that's like kind of his schedule so I think it's awesome because we get to do stuff during the weekday like next week we're going to the beach and it's gonna be on a weekday it kind of sucks too because it's summer now um, so everyone's everyone has a vacation but like if we wanted to go you know just anywhere on the weekday number one it's cheaper and number two it's less crowded so I think that's awesome. I don't even know what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. I think I'm just gonna pick up something at Target that's like already pre-made and I just have to put it in the oven because I don't have time to make dinner. Also, when he works nights, I have to make dinner early because he leaves for work around like 4.45, 5. So I usually make dinner around 3.30 <clears throat> so he can eat after he wakes up and then take some leftovers for work. So I we went to Home Goods and then we went to Target and Bray was getting really fussy. So <clears throat> my throat today. It's so annoying. So I just dropped um, her and my mom off at home. And she's gonna put her down for a nap. And then I just went to Walmart to pick up my groceries. And it's the coolest thing ever, but I felt really weird. Really weird. Like she was like, okay, what's your name? And she found my order. And then she was like, okay, well I'll just go and get your groceries and then I'll be right back. And I was like, okay. So when she came back, I was like hopping out, getting out of the car, and she was like, oh no, you stay in your car and I load them for you. I was like, what? Really? But it is a total like lifesaver. So you don't have to, you know, go grocery shopping yourself. <clears throat> but I, I just had like a weird feeling. Not weird feeling, but it was just, I felt bad, like I wanted to help. But she, that's her job. She said no. She said, oh no, you stay in your car. You don't have, I do this. I load them up. Just like, so I'm on my way back home right now. Um, I'm so tired. So tired. My lips feel funny. 
just the top one. It feels like I burned it. But that's just a part of the MS. That means I am doing too much and I need to go home and rest. I literally had to sit down in Target on like a, a what is it called? In the aisles, not on the floor, but on the, what is it called? Shelf thing on the bottom. I had to take a break and catch my breath because I was getting dizzy. It's definitely, see like before I had my relapse, before I knew what it was, I would have days like this, but I didn't know, you know, what it was. I just pushed myself and said, okay, I'm just tired because I'm a baby. And uh, drank so much caffeine, a lot of coffee, and I would still be tired. But now, since I know what it is, I have to take care of myself and I have to rest when my body says to slow down and rest. So, I mean, a lot of stuff doesn't get done like I would like it to and I'm the kind of person that if I'm not busy and productive if the house isn't clean if you know the laundry isn't done if dinner isn't made I feel really I feel bad like I really beat myself up about it but that's the thing with MS like I have to learn how to take it easy and take it slower than usual and spread out everything that I have to do like it, I would do it in one day, you know, but I can't anymore. I have to like spread it out through the week. Okay, sorry, I had to get the mail, but there was no mail. <laughs> um, but anyways, as I was saying, that I'm not like a regular person that can just, you know, do 10 errands in a day and be okay and still have energy to take care of their family and yourself and stuff like that I'm not I can't do that and my biggest dream was you know to have a family have a baby have a husband take care of them and cook for them do their laundry like be a homemaker that's you know it sounds weird and funny but like that was my dream job I would say so now that I can't do everything at once anymore, um, I feel like I'm not as productive, but that's like not the case and I need help and I need, um, that's why my mom is constantly with me when Jacob works because I need, you know, the extra hands. Like yesterday I was so, so tired. I took a two hour nap in the morning and I, you know, went to bed early. I woke up um, around like 8.30. That's the time that Braylon wakes up, 8.39. And then by the time my mom got there to help me out, I was dead. It's just the MS. That's just what it does. It makes you so fatigued and so tired. And I like get mad at myself. Like, I wish I could have done more. Like, I have the mom guilt. And it's because of that. Like, if I didn't have this disease, you know, like A, B, C, and D could have got done today. And I'm really hard on myself. And I can't be like that anymore. And it's it sucks. So, but I just have to learn that, you know, I can't do everything at once. And it's okay to ask for help. So, I think that's, I mean, it's a huge life change adjustment for sure. Um, and when I do get tired, when I do overdo it, then symptoms start to appear like my lips will get a little numb and that just is a sign to tell me that I need to slow down and take it easy. So anyways, enough with the rambling. I am um, going home now and gonna unload the groceries and chill ax. Okay, this is everything we got from the store, uh, Walmart and Target. But first I'm gonna show you our home goods finds. Um, I needed a new pot. What? What? Oh, is it supposed to be like that? Like what? I was about to freak out. 
Yeah. No, you, no, right you, here. Oh yeah. To let steam out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm psycho. Anyways, got that and then um, a kitchen rug. I thought that was so cute and it goes really well in here. Okay, Target. Got more of these puree stuff so we could take with us to the beach. Thought this was really cute and it was only like a dollar 38 cents on sale. Got thank you cards I need to send out for her birthday. Still haven't done that. Tylenol, Desitin. Um, these are the best cookies in the world. My brother showed me these and we're obsessed. They didn't have our um, regular almond creamer, um, but this one is just as good, if not better. Um, I really like that, but it's just a little smaller than our usual size. Okay, then we got pasta for a crock pot recipe for sides. We have rice roni, pasta ronis, and then we I get her the um, Annie's mac and cheese we needed more bags i got artichoke hearts to put in a pasta salad for this weekend um some more waffles some coffee some green onions some strawberries because i'm all out some uncured bacon salami to put in the pasta salad a, a purple onion to put in the pasta salad these to put in the pasta salad and I'm making the pasta salad out of um, farfalle noodles, bow tie. Some barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays is where it's at. Some ketchup. Um, I did a lot, I bought a lot of the Great Value brand just to cut some costs. So ketchup, soy sauce, um, black olives to put in the thing. Oh, these are, I should have got like three of these. These are tiny. Um, broccoli. Two bell peppers for the pasta salad, some cheeses, different kinds of cheese for different kinds of recipes, some bananas, some rice puddings, these are my favorite. I was gonna give Bray some of these go-gurts. Oh, they're actually frozen. Oh, I thought I meant like frozen the movie. So go-gurts, I'm gonna freeze them, but uh, some more almond milk, garlic, salt, Parmesan cheese. Um, zesty Italian dressing for the pasta salad. And body wash. I a lot of that. I just put it there. Some tortillas. And I think that might be it. Pretty sure. Yeah. Braylon. What are you doing? What are you doing, little girl? Are you being silly? Silly? <laughs> Is it nap time? Is that dad's sock? Daddy's sock? <laughs> Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Braylon. Look, baby. Say hi. Say hi! So I'm gonna be cooking a um, crock 
crock pot dinner today because it's one it's easy and two it looks really good found it off the of pinterest um so it's just chicken and salt and pepper i have the chicken down in here and then you put pesto on it all you do with this is you just get a spoon and uh, lather up the chicken with some pesto and then you kind of just like spread it on and then at the end you make pasta you cook your pasta i think we're gonna do like the spinny kind of noodles i don't know what they're called and then we shred the chicken and uh cook the pasta and then put the pasta cooked pasta in here with the shredded chicken and you put like cheese all that good stuff looks bomb smells good it's just the pesto though i think i want to add some garlic powder to it like looks pretty good so I just need to get the top oh dang it totally forgot um, I usually line my crock pot with these so it just makes for like an easy cleanup but I forgot I took out the chicken and I shredded it. I put five chicken breasts in here and this is how much it made. It made quite a bit, so I'm gonna empty it back in the crock pot, let it soak in the juice, and then I am boiling some water for the noodles. They're from, oh, I don't know. This is the, oh, bye. This is the aftermath. It looks so yummy. It smells so good. So you leave it in the crock pot for an additional 15 minutes on, oh, I think I had it on low or warm, one of them, just so the cheese can melt and 
for the whole time the chicken was in there, I cooked it on high for like three and a half, three hours. It cooks pretty fast, so. Now we're going to eat because I am starving and I have a headache. So the dinner was really, really good and it made a lot. So it was perfect for, um, you know, to feed uh, three or four people and still have leftovers for Jacob at work. Now we're in the playroom slash office. And I have to edit this vlog. This will be up Tuesday. Um, since I'm going out of town this coming week, I have to pre-film tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. And then post it on Friday. So that's going to be it for this vlog. Come here, Bray. Come here. You have to say bye. So please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we will see you guys in our next one. Bye! Say bye! <laughs>